So we will step back a, uh, a bit. At the end of the second line from the bottom, I'm base 16. Vezehu. And thus, this is the inference, this is the meaning of what it says in Pichin de Meliyazir. Up until the time that the world was created, it was he and his name, Bilvad, alone um, by itself. The Pirush, the Pirushe, which actually means who Ushmoi Echot, which says who Ushmoi Bilvad. Does not mean two set two things, but just these two things. But it means Bilbad means who Ushmoi Echot, Ukmeshukosu Bisalo. And as Exolo explains it. Bahainu. What what is in fact the, the point of this statement? The Klolus Bechina Shmoi that the Bechina of Shmoi, the aspect of Shmoi at its at his primary inception, the, the general principle of Shmoy, who bevchinas ardus udveikus, Shmoy represents the union of ardus and veikus, unity and cleavage, bevchinas asmus in soibro. In bechina, in the bechina of asmus in soibro. In other words, Shmoy does not represent something separate. Let's be explained before uh, we already explained in uh, uh, Grantland. Shmoy, finally at the very end of the Rebbe says that in the Indian for Shmoy this is the Indian for Oyer, which we already learned before. But he distinguishes between between the Yardos the way it is in the oil and the Yardos the way it is in Kali. Guf Mashava Dibur Maisa, Guf Mashava Dibur, this is in the way the way this is in Kali. And shame is this the way it is in oil. Is this, is this a phenomenon only by Hash by Hakurish Borku? Or with the kind of, with the concept of name in general, is, is, a, is, a, is a, by us also is the name also Bidvekus. Yes. And what is the principle, what is so significant of the fact that the name is Ardos Udveikus Bebchines Asim Sein Soi? Ve'alkein. And thus, Ho Bebchines Tzuro Atmis. This is why it has, it qualifies to be referred to as Surah Atzmis. The name. Right. The oil, the oil name. Surah Atzmis. <laughs> Pardon me. Who 
who bivchinas tzuro atzmos. As we always point out, every one of these uh, variations of presentations, either bivchinas tzuro atzmos or bivchinas tzuro atzmos. The reason, no, I'm saying bivchinas tzuro atzmos means you're referring to something that exists at tzuro atzmos. You identify it. Oh, the name that is tzuro atzmos. That's what this would be Bechina Suratmis. Bivchina Suratmis is a different kind of presentation. It has the quality akin to a Suratmis. Why does he say Bivchina Suratmis, not Bechina Suratmis? Because there is no Suratmis. There is no Oyer. In, in Atmos. There's no shame in Atmos. When there was a choice, the, the decision, the, the, the will to be Megala himself, this was the name from Shem. And this was in the Ephraim of Oyer, and it has Bivchinas, it was Nizgala, Bivchinas in a manner of Tzuru Atmos. Meaning, it was not Nisgala as a, as, an, as, a, as a separate entity, but Nisgala in a manner that it actually connected in one and united totally with the Yatsa. And this is why it, it has the quality of Tzura Atmos. Bechinas Tzuro Atzmis, Bivchinas Tzuro Atzmis, would seem to be saying exactly the same thing. Right. You have a car? Oh, well, let's say I did. Okay. If I said to you, the car is your chariot. Okay. Is it? In a way, kind of. It's, it's filled. Is it correct car. to say your car is your chariot, your horse and horse drawn no, drawn chariot? No, no, obviously not. But you could say it is a presentation of the chariot. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. That's the difference between Bechina Suratmis and Bivchina Suratmis. Ah. L- so literal and metaphorical. Uh, do you need any more explanation or you, you really don't understand the different the, the inference? I got if you need more it. elaboration, I will, but I don't mm-hmm. think it's necessary. Uh, I need to think it in, in words, not pictures. Why? Why not, not pictures? Ide- ideas. Uh. Okay, it needs a little more elaboration for me. What do you, what, what, what's missing? Okay, well... Uh, what is the difference trying to say, this is your chariot? Yeah. This is a representation of your chariot, or like your chariot. Okay, well, yeah, okay, all right, fine, fine, okay, fine. Nothing missing. Is literally the chariot. Okay. Okay. The ye kor in yin tzura v'giloi, the principal union of Tzura, <coughs> Tzura means a form, which is present only in Gilu. Ho bivchinas his pashtus ho'ir. Tzura v'gilu in principle applies in the bivchina of his pashtus ho'ir. Bivchinas his pashtus ho'ir. His pastor's oil means the oil as it manifests itself rather than the oil as it is unto itself. It means pastors. So if you're talking about his pastors, which means manifestation of the oil, so that manifestation is already an, an external presence. 
However, so, so if it's a historical place, how you call it? Can you call it Tzura Atzmis? It's 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 not Atzmis. But then, so we explain. But because of its nature, because of the fact that it is dover by that it is it it is it, it has the nature of cleavage to the etzem. Therefore, it is it is it qualifies and it has this quality of oir atzmi. Oir atzmi means an, an essential oir. Okay, here is which we, we have to be here again. There is no such thing as an essential oil. All oil really is a creation, a volitional creation. But what was created? An oil, not an entity. Oil, as we said in the previous page at the end, oil. The, the, the nature of it, the definition of oil is that, that it cleaves to the earth. We have our muscle of the host and the guest. It's a wonderful muscle. And the guest feel, feels elated in the presence of the host. Can the host then leave that in, that impression, that that giloi, that that presence with him and say, "I have to go away. You keep on to the presence." The host can be present and not present. So the host is not by definition a presence. He's, he's unto himself. But he has a presence. I invited you. And we have we have we have this interchange. So now that we have, we have had it, you can hold on to that interchange, hold on to that presence, and I have to go elsewhere. So we say no, we, if that happens, the whole thing dissipates. This is the meaning of oil. And this is why it's called oil atzim. There is no substitute for the host's presence. The host can send waiters to, to serve you. He can serve drivers to go and pick you up. He can do all kinds of different things. What? It's not the host. But there's no substitute for his presence. That is the main thing. It's what Oyer All of these things that we mentioned, the taxi that comes and picks you up, or the limousine that comes and picks you up, and the waiters and ever, all of these things, these are all on a functional level. They are not on the essential. <coughs> How do you consume, so to speak? How do you benefit? How do you use that which was served to you? You eat it. You don't use it by looking at it, by having it. You use it by by using it. Somebody bestows that you upon you a huge amount of money, wealth. It's a great, it's a great uh, blessing. It's a great gift. But what is the significance of the gift? It's how you're going to spend it, not have it. The presence of the host consists in having it, not spending. As a matter of fact, it's not possible to to take anything of it. There is no way of, of consuming that. <coughs> Why? <laughs> Even though, again, this is only the Hitzernius from the host, this is his presence. But it's Dovud Boho 
And what does it mean, it's dovuk boyatzim? So, okay, it's dovuk boyatzim, it's a big deal. His skin is also dovuk to him. Are you interested in his skin? You need to sit in this air, in, in, in this, in his presence, in his declaration of presence. What is that? That is much deeper than anything that you actually can observe. This is the presence of his essence. That's what oil is. And as we explained many times, oil is only present when there is an essence. If the waiter comes and serves you, and he stands by you, and he's constantly asking, do you need anything? Are you, are you satisfied with this? Do you want something else? <laughs> Whatever he does, he doesn't, he doesn't give you the, the soy atzim. The presence of the host gives you a completely, totally different, different connection, different reality. Because this emanates from the etzim element. Which means etzim element from the reality of this person. Not from his any functional level, but from his real essence. And as we explained many times, I, I just want to kind of round the ropes over here. The reason that there is such a thing as an essence in a human being, a human being is not an essence. He's born and gone. But because the human being was given by its creator a status beyond all, all other creatures. It was given by his creator a status of the, of the essence of the creation. What do I need a creation for if I don't have you? The whole in initial sense of creation came as a result by me, by me, by me uh, Nimlach, but then it's the same as That's what the creation represents. That's why they have, they carry uh, the, so the, the, the essence, the, the reality itself. Atmos. And this is why this is called oil Atmi. Even though this is oil, it's only a manifestation of it, but oil, the definition of it is that this which stays connected with you could be the, with, the, with its source. It's inseparable. Have an initial, this is this is so I guess by this marshal you you're in the presence of the host and you sense his reality and this sensing of his reality is like the light you sense his reality by his light by his presence you don't go into his guts so okay so again you sense his presence there's an interesting thing in Tanya the Altarebbe says that when one embraces a king, an interesting thing. There is not a difference whether you embrace a king when he is without clothes, you know, just the king directly, or he embraces through his entire uh, presentation, like on clothes. Why? Because the Guv HaMelech is, is in there. Okay, but I'm not touching it. Touch is is not is not the essence. You can't touch the essence. The essence of that is that which comes to the oil through his presence. Guva Mel Betoichai. It's fine. But the Alter explains, when you also, also, as for my, my, you open, you open your eyes and see, and see, and you see the entire creation, the, 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 uh, the, you know, the, the glory of the creation, with all the constellation and everything. This is a representative of the Malachagod. 
And if you reflect it, you're actually, so to speak, looking at the glory of the great king. Not the touchable element of it, but it's the intangible element of it. The greatness that it is representing. Mm -hmm. And that you can actually embrace. Is there an element of knowledge in this aura? Like, if I'm a guest of my old friend, a friend I've known for 20 years, is that different from being a guest at somebody who's I just met yesterday? Was were we talking about something beyond the relationship? We are definitely talking about something beyond the relationship. You met a friend that you've known 20 years ago from kindergarten. And you can't stop talking to him about that teacher and the time that you threw the ball up over the, over the gutter and um, all of those things. Does that give you a sense, oh, my life is real, because I can remember what happened 25 years ago? Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? We learned just before over here, the Machshova, Machshova is Mishoyteta Stomi. You're talking oil, my young son. That is clearly identified there is scalium and oil. Machshom is a tetastom. Machshom is a constant presence. And that is, is a metaphor for oil. Is that on par with knowing and remembering what, what transpired 25 years ago or 30 years ago? When you meet your own child, or truly a deep bosom friend, this this meeting, the experience of that meeting, is due to remembrances of certain occurrences, or it is straight out, person to person. It's, yeah, it's person to person. Directly. There's no difference how many years transpired, what experience, it's not even based on experiences. That's it, that's it, oh yeah, that's it. That does not have vessels, it does not have means by which it is recognized. So going back, maybe. so going back, <clears throat> what is the significance of this house in our Moshe? There is not a means by which you can identify it. Oh, this is his great house when I when I'm guessed by him, the fish is good. Yeah. Right. 
point is that we have to connect it to the Indian from Agdas Pshuta. It's related not through any kind of strings, but it is it, the reason there is oil, like I said, this is important to, to, to reflect. Oil is present only when there's a metzah. This is why, and, and, and the sun is a very good moment to reflect on this. Because the sun has both. The sun has oil, which is reflective of the essence of the sun. And it has energy, heat, heat energy. And here we have the choice to identify only the heat energy of the sun, which is like identify the good dinner that the host gave you. Or identifying with the presence of the sun. Like I explained. There is a Mudha Shachar, this is called Dawn. In Dawn period, you can really see your way around pretty well. Very well, as a matter of fact. Mishiyaki, Ben Chelis, you can identify colors. Even subtle differences. Yet, sunrise is a different category. Mm. In human experience and halakhically, mm. it's a completely different category. That is, this is, when, when that oil of sunlight is only when there is the sun itself, the atzma. And it's only due to the fact that the sun is an atzma. Energy and all the heat, this is not an atzma. This is, this is combustion that takes place in the sun. But, but that element of sun, of atzma, the presence of sun, this is an atzma. But the Nimshul, we started out saying there is no light in Etzim, there is no name in essence. Mashayim came by a Right. We seem to have a different experience. Yeah, definitely so. Definitely so. And we explained when we first introduced this thing. The sun is an Atzmi. But the atzmi of the sun has a definition. It's atzmi of what? Atzmi of oil. Therefore, there is oil in atzmi. When you talk about the Milo, atzmus, atzmus has no definition, has no content. Therefore, there is no inherent oil in atzmi. Oil, oil is, a, is an reflection of, of, of its message. The message of the sun is light. The message of the neshama is life. <coughs> right. But it has no message. But we say pshitus. Atmos has no message. Therefore, if there is a message as a creative thing. But it's created in the form of oil. Okay? So this will be it for this morning. Have a great day. Where are we ending off here? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, the second line from the top. <laughs> Come
Sabah, 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 Sabah,